If you're a real estate investor or thinking of investing in real estate, you probably want to find out what are the monthly costs on the condo that you're thinking of investing in. How much would it cost you per month and would it break even? I always wanted to do that too, so I created myself a thing called the Condo Calculator. Now that it works, I'm giving it for free for anyone that like to use it. Hi, this is Yossi Kaplan. I'm a Toronto real estate agent and mortgage broker. And today I'm going to show you how to download the free tool, the Condo Calculator, and use it. Okay? So go to the condocalculator.ca right here. This is the site. And come to this page. You'll see the condo calculator. Is it a good investment? What you can do with it? You can find out the monthly costs. You can find the break-even point for the unit. You can compare fee, uh, fees, taxes, and mortgage amount. You can look at deposit calculations, and it's updated for the next year and the year beyond. Okay? Put your name, put your email, accept, and hit the send button and check your email for the download link. By the way, if you want to find the pre-construction, this is always updated. You can hit this button here and it show you the pre-construction condos available right now. You can see listings in downtown Toronto. You can see what's recently been reduced. You can look at assignments, just listed, get home valuations, and a whole bunch of other things. Okay, so after you put your instant access information here and check your email, you get the link and you open the file and there it is. You call the calculator. Okay, so we have... Uh, three properties here that we can compare. Uh, in my case, uh, this one is in Toronto, this one is in Toronto, this one in Toronto, but you can put whatever you want. The yellow fields are for you to input. You can put the address here or the name of the condo. Put the number of beds here. So I got one bed here, two beds here, and three here. Then put the indoor square footage without the balcony, 500, 600, 1200 in my example. Now these gray fields right here, you can put the information for comparison, but they're not going to do anything um, in the result. Okay, so whatever you put here is not going to make any difference. Only this, these fields here, the yellow fields, will make a difference in the calculation. So here I put the balcony, 100 square feet, 150, 200, uh, the parking spots, and the locker. But those, again, they don't make any difference uh, because they're already included in the price. Now come to the price and put the, the price that this condo is asking for or sold for. Say... This one, 500 square feet, uh, one bedroom, sold for 650,000. Uh, this two bedroom, 600 square feet, is asking 870. And this three bedroom, 1,200 square feet, is asking 1,550. That means that the PSF, the dollar per square foot, and this is a green field, this is a result field, the counter calculator will calculate for you that it's 600, that 650,000 divided by 500, it's $1,300 a foot. This one is $1,450 a foot, this one's $1,292 a foot. So you can see, that this one relatively is the most expensive per foot. Now here's your deposit structure. What you're going to do here is first go to your deposit, all the yellow fields, and if it's new construction, you can put the deposit 55555, and you got room for five total deposits here, deposits one, two, four, and occupancy. So in my case, um, five, 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 zero, and five gives me 20%. So the mortgage required will be 80%. This calculates here basically just equates this field here so deposit 200 percent and then you can see the deposit uh, you'll get here is 130 174 and 310 which it amounts to 20 percent of this price above you okay great now uh, when you're looking at these deposits here the sheet will generate these for you as well and you want to focus here on the mortgage required which is 520,000 in this case 650 less 130 okay uh, in this case 696 870 less 174 and for this one it'll be 1 million 240 because it's 1 million 550 less 310 okay now if you were to pay let's say if you were to pay uh you decide to pay 30 percent down um i'm just gonna increase this number here by 10 and it'll give me 30 percent overall and you can see that the mortgage amount has been reduced significantly okay Let's leave it at uh, what it was before on 2080, okay? Now, to calculate your monthly expenses, you got to look at the uh, maintenance condo fees, the municipal taxes, and the mortgage. These are your monthly expenses. The hydro are usually paid by the tenant, and we do not include it in the running expenses because who, whomever is residing in the unit has to pay for it anyways. But it doesn't have to be the owner. Unless the owner lives there as well, then you'll add it to your own personal living costs. So in this case here, I got uh, 68 cents um, average. So this one resolved 500 times 0.6 a will resolve to 340 a month, and 600 will make uh, 48 a month, and 1200 will make 816 a month. 
Now, if you want to change it, just touch here and go up here, and let's say it's uh, 75 cents a foot, just put 0.75. Okay, and the numbers will adjust for you. Uh, the next one is the municipal tax rate. Um, these vary. They say in Toronto it's 1%. I find sometimes it's less, actually. Mississauga could be more. So go to your tax bill and look it up and in, insert it here, okay? Or insert an, a, a number is close enough to what you know it is to be. So for example, if this uh, condo is 460, play with this number here until you get close as close as you can, okay? Because this is all generating estimates. It, real life will be a few dollars here or there anyways. The mortgage, uh, you just, all you need to do here, it's, uh, it's estimated 25 years. So just put the percent of the mortgage. Let's say you got a mortgage for 1.8. Uh, which is possible these days. So you see these numbers adjust a little bit. And then the total monthly cost for this unit here will be 2986 a month. The total monthly cost for this imaginary unit here will be 3945 And the total monthly cost for this unit will be 7126 Now, obviously, these three numbers here will really um, um, determine the monthly cost. The, the mortgage amount, which is uh, represented here, how much mortgage do we need out of the purchase price and in what percentage? That's the one. The condo fees is the second and the tax is the third. So if you if you have a little bit more money down and you have 10% more down and let's say you did want to do the 30%, then you can see these numbers drop now, okay, because we put more money down and now it's 27, 17, 35, 85, and 6, 4, 8, 5. Okay, great. So here's your cash flow analysis. Your break-even cost will be 27, 17 on, on the one bedroom. Um, the cost per one bedroom, there's only one, so it's 27.17. And the rent, you need to achieve the rent dollar per foot you want to achieve is 5.43. And that you can do comparative to look at, as a landlord, how much rent you need to achieve. It's kind of look like you look at a commercial dollars per foot for rent, okay? It just helps you get an understanding of where you are in comparison to others around you. And uh, this two-bedroom, 600 square feet here, do you remember it was, uh, was up for $870,000? Uh, now it comes in. Um, so this is the rent. So it'll come at $35.85. The cost per bedroom is $17.92. So that's divided by two. So each roommate or each resident, each bedroom is $17.92. It's $5.97 a foot, just slightly more here. And the three bedrooms comes at $6.485. Uh, the price per room is higher, but the dollar per foot is, is the lowest here the lowest here, okay? So that gives you an idea. Now you can put, these are yellow fields, so you can put whatever you want here. Let's say I got uh, 3,200 for the one bedroom. Okay, so my income is 483, I'm positive uh, 483 a month here, and my annual cash flow, which is um, my income times 1257, so just under 6,000, and my I'm returning to two, almost 3% here. And this one, in this case, I had it at 4,200, so it's making 615, so it's making 7,300 a year, and then it's making 2.83%. And this one, I'm only getting 6,000, so I lost a little bit of money on this unit. Okay, and these numbers you can change. Maybe you are in Yorkville, and now you're making good money. Okay, so this is the condo calculator. Please go ahead and uh, download it at condocalculator.ca. This is Yossi Kaplan. I created this thing for you. Any questions, comment, please leave them down below or send me an email.